All right, so I know my face looks very, very naked right now because I have no lipstick on, but we're about to fix that because I'm about to talk about my top five red lipsticks, all seen here on my forearm, but they're about to go on my lips right now, so let's get this party started. Hey y'all, I'm Jennifer and welcome to today's video. So like I said, today's video is all about red lipsticks. Specifically, my top five favorite red lipsticks of the moment of 2021. So as a makeup artist, I own a gazillion shades of red lipstick because it is quite possibly one of my favorite things. I feel like when a woman puts on a red lipstick, she really doesn't need that much makeup to wear with it because it kind of speaks for itself and it's very bold and daring and you don't really want to like muddy up the rest of your face with a bunch of other makeup when you wear a red lipstick. So it's really, really, really one of the most fun lipstick um, colors that a gal can wear. So we are going to start today's video. I'm going to share with you all five that are shown right here on my forearm. And the reason I decided that I wanted to do this video is because college football season is right here upon us. And if you haven't watched any of my videos or don't even know much about me right now, um, I live in Athens, Georgia, which is a college town and is the home of the University of Georgia Bulldogs. And I happen to be an alumni of the University of Georgia and our colors are red and black. So whenever football season is upon us, of course, I am always game for wearing a great bulldog red lip for the football games. And I know that there's a couple other colleges out there that have red as one of their primary colors. My husband actually helped me with this because I didn't know all of them, but he said that like Ohio State and Nebraska, Ole Miss, Louisville, and NC State all have red. So if you happen to be an alumni of one of those colleges or you're currently there or you just like those teams, maybe stick around for this video because you can find a red lipstick that maybe would be good to wear to game time. Um, this happens to be from my, stole it from my son's room. This is a Georgia football helmet or a little mini one, but as you can see, we are red and black. So I'm gonna have to find a red lipstick that kind of matches the Bulldog red on this helmet. So we'll have to see which one, once I start swiping them on, which one is gonna be best for these upcoming college football game days. So as you can see, my face is a blank slate when it comes to my lips. So we're just gonna start with one of the first lipsticks that I love in the red category. And you're gonna like this, hopefully. I've got, I've got five right here. They're all kind of different price ranges. Most of them are generally the same finish. I do tend to go more of like a, a matte or cream or a satin finish when I wear red lipstick. I don't really like to wear glossy for some reason. It just doesn't look good on me. I feel like the, the matte um, finishes look a little bit more sophisticated. So anyway, let's go ahead and start with the first one. So the first one that I love is by Rare Beauty and the color here is called Inspire. Now, Rare Beauty is has been created by Selena Gomez. I think I did another video that I'll have to link in the description box below about Rare Beauty and about this specific lip formula, which is the Matte Lip Souffle by Rare Beauty. It's 20 bucks, um, but the color Inspire is Selena's favorite color and it is described as a bright red. So I'm gonna swatch it on for y'all right now or not really swatch it on, I'm gonna put it on. Okay, so this is the first one. What I love about this lipstick in particular is the, is the feel of it more than anything. It's very, very comfortable feels very hydrating. It literally feels like velvet, like a souffle on your lips. I just love it so much. And it's very, very, I mean, you can move around. It's not too, it's not too mad. It's not too dry. It just feels great. And yes, it is a bright red. I would say that this is probably the lightest of all of the reds. You can see it right here. I've started at the top of my forearm. This is the um, Inspire color right here. So it is definitely a bright red, a little bit, I don't want to say sheer, but maybe a little bit sheer than the rest of them. And I think it goes a hint hint of coral to it, um, which kind of gives it that bright effect. So this is my number one pick for red lipstick right now is Rare Beauty Inspire. Okay, so now for my second favorite red lipstick, this is L'Oreal Colorish Satin Lipstick in color True Red. So this is a $6 drugstore lipstick. You can find L'Oreal anywhere. The color is True Red, and I would say it is a pretty true red. Um, when you hear the words true red, it means it doesn't go too cool. It doesn't It doesn't go too like blue based and it doesn't go too warm or orange based. It's literally kind of right in the middle. Now I would say the fact that I've swatched these on my arms already and I'm comparing it to some of the other reds, I would say that this tends to go a little cool for a red, but it is a very good true, true red. So if you're kind of on the fence, like I don't know what color is gonna look best on me, 
just kind of a true red that's like in the middle, not too cool, not too warm is probably the best one to go ahead and start off and try. But I love Color Reese lipsticks. These have been, has been around forever. Um, the formula is great. They're very inexpensive at $6. Uh, but this true red has been around a while and I really, really love it. So let's go ahead and put it on so you can see what it looks like on me. It definitely has a little bit more shine than the first one that I did that was very, very matte. Um, this one has a little bit of shine to it, but not too shiny because I don't like that. Um, it just looks like really healthy and very much a true, pretty drugstore red. All right, so now on to my third favorite red lipstick. Now this one is by MAC and it is called the color Chili. Now this is a tiny, tiny little bullet, if you can tell, of a lipstick. This is not the full size version of a MAC lipstick. Um, the full size version runs around, uh, let's see, huh, $19. Um, so I actually bought, they had like a little special going on at Ulta. So I had bought this and a couple other shades of the um, little MAC lipsticks. And once I bought Chili, I just fell in love, with, in love with it. Now it's not like a really bright, bold red like the first two that you've seen and pretty much the rest of them you're about to see. This is more of like a warm, spicy, it's almost like a paprika type um, color red. So I love this. This is gonna be a really, really good fall red color because it kind of reminds me of like leaves and warm, you know, nutmeg or paprika or something like that. Um, but I love this as a red version um, for fall in terms of uh, a red lipstick. So we're gonna put this one on so you can see what it looks like. So this would probably be a good red lipstick color for someone to try out that's like really terrified of a bright, bold red and want something a little more muted. I mean, this color is not actually muted, but it's just not super bright. Um, it's more of like a warm, toasty brown. And I will absolutely be going to buy the full size version of this once I use up this tiny little bullet. And so this is definitely kind of more of like a cream satin finish, not as shiny as the L'Oreal, but not as matte as some. Um, it's just kind of like a perfect hybrid of um, satin and creamy for a red brown lipstick. But I love this. This is definitely going to be in high rotation this fall. All right, now we're down to the fourth of my favorite red lipsticks. And this one is Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Beso. Now, this is the second tube I think I have bought in of Beso. Boughten, is that a word? Boughten, I have bought of Beso. Um, this probably, I would say, when I'm looking at these compared to all one another, um, this one is definitely the most opaque. Like it is, you do not see through this red at, at all. It is a bold, daring, very much a true red in my opinion. And I would probably go ahead and be so bold as to say this is gonna be my bulldog red for this season for football. But the liquid lipstick, I saved two of the liquid lipsticks for the end of this um, countdown because these are the toughest to get off. So um, you have to be very precise with these. So this might take me a while to put this one on to show you, but it is well worth the wait for sure. With lip, liquid lipsticks like this, I like to do this weird, weird thing where I kind of hold my mouth open and kind of wave it off so that it will dry on the interior of my lips. Cause you know how sometimes liquid lipsticks will kind of go south or they'll just, they'll rub off very easily in the interior of the mouth. So I like to kind of do this, make sure it's fully dry before it gets too wet. But there is the Stila Beso. Um, I just can't say enough great things about this color. I, I feel like I could like run the world wearing this red lipstick. It is a very, very powerful, powerful red, and I love it. I think that this is one of my all-time favorite red lips, for sure. All right, so we are down to our fifth and final red lipstick favorite for 2021 so far, and this one is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. Now, this one is Color Dancer, number 118, and it runs for about $8. These, um, these Maybelline lipsticks, if you don't want to invest in the more expensive lipstick like the Stila Beso that I just showed you, and I don't think I told you all how much that is. It runs around $22 for the Stila Beso. If you want a liquid lipstick but don't really want to pay $22 for um, that type of formula or a red lipstick in general, try the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. It definitely has some uber long wear tendencies as well. And so this color dancer is more of a slightly warmer orangey based red in my opinion. So it's not gonna be as true of a red as the base though, just a little bit warmer and orangey. So, and I love the little doe foot applicator that, that comes in the Maybelline. It's kind of has a little bit of a point at the end. So it makes it really easy to draw and put on your lips exactly where you want it. Cause with red lipstick, you have to be precise for it to look good. All right, so here we go. Okay, 
So there we have on Dancer. Um, I really, really love this color also when I'm a little bit more tan or have used a little bit more self tan or have had a little bit more sun in the summer. Um, I don't typically wear this one when I'm super, super pale in the winter. I would go something a little bit more cooler. Um, but this is like such a pretty red color and I love the feel of the um, matte lip inks. They do feel a little bit tacky at first, but once they dry down, they feel wonderful and they definitely do stay put. So one thing I wanna talk about before I end this video, because that's it, that is all five of my favorite red lipsticks. And now that I've got this one on, that's probably not going anywhere, um, do a little chatting. One thing that people always ask me, well, Jennifer, what kind of, how do I know what kind of red lipstick I should be buying? Like what color, what undertone? And I always say there's no secret magic equation to figuring out what red lipstick looks best on you. There are the old school sayings that, oh, if you love the way you look in silver jewelry, then you probably should go more cool based or red based, um, blue based reds. And if you feel like you look better in gold jewelry, you should probably go for the warmer, more orangey reds. Now, I tend to love gold and silver jewelry on me. Um, I feel like I'm more neutral in terms of what color jewelry I like to wear best. I like to wear both. I don't really discriminate. And so I'm kind of the same way as you can see with my red lipsticks. I like the orangey base reds, but I also love the true red, the true reds and the kind of more blue base reds. It really depends on my mood, where I'm going, what I'm wearing and what time of year it is. So I just say, Find a friend that you love the way the red lipstick looks on her. That's kind of why I did this video so I could show y'all what some of my favorites looked like and maybe you had one that you watched and you're like, you know what? I kind of feel like I have Jennifer's coloring so I want to go try that one because I think A, B, C, D, or E looked better on her. Then go try it. I always do that. When I see a girlfriend wearing a red lipstick that I like, I will typically ask her what it is and I'll go buy it from herself. And if it doesn't work for me, then I'll just give it to a friend, give it to my mom, you know, give it to a sister or, you know, whatever. Um, so just go try red lipstick. It's so fun. It really can change your mood. It's an instant mood lifter for me. I love red lipstick. Makes me feel confident, powerful, and it's just like an easy fix for a mood lifter. So if you've tried any of these red lipsticks or you have a favorite that I didn't mention today, I would love to hear what it is. Please leave it in the comments below. And of course, as always, I will leave links to all five of the lipsticks that I discussed today in various price points. I will leave links in the description box below so that you can go check each one of them out and maybe pick one up for yourself. If you're going to a college football game or an NFL game, or you just want a red lipstick for a Thursday, it doesn't matter. Um, but thanks y'all so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye y'all. I should start seeing <laughs> or not. No. <laughs> okay, that's kind of nerdy.